All right, so how many of you guys have ever wanted to do some hacking, but you don't want to go to federal prison because that would really, really suck? Well, now you can get your chance with this brand new game, HackNet, from a cool name, Surprise Attack and Fractal Alligator. I mean, that's just pretty cool. We're on, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Beyond the game trailer from Obsolete Gamer, and we are joined by Matt Fabrani, all the way from Melbourne, Australia, is that correct? Uh, actually, my publisher's in Melbourne, Australia, but I'm in Adelaide. Ah, okay, cool. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you very much for having me. So, tell us a little bit about HackNet. I mean, I, I, I read about it, and I saw the trailer that we're going to see in a little bit, but tell us a little bit about the game. Sure. So, HackNet started way back from a Game Jam game, uh, when I was just playing with interfaces and things and building them up. And uh, so, I made, like, a text box as my first thing in this experiment. And I was like, oh, cool, I'll like, make some commands so you can type in and just check that it's working. And I'm like, oh, I can just make it taller and display the history, and then I have a terminal by accident, and the game just sort of fell out from there. But this uh, hacking simulator, I guess, although some of the convention I was just at said it was sort of weirdly like a point-and-click adventure. It's, um, yeah, meant to be really realistic and super immersive at all times, more immersive than fun even. The top priority of the game is just to make you feel like a hacker. And it turns out that the easiest way to do that is to actually just make you a hacker. And then it starts stripping away bits that are too difficult to really learn and replace the chunks that I've written. Yeah, that that's what I saw that was really cool, because it uses it simulates, you know, real Unix commands. So I mean that's real stuff. Most of the time when you're watching like hacking on TV, like I saw some movies where they're using like HTML commands or just gibberish or so, <laughs> something like that. I mean you guys are using real commands, but at the same time you make it where it's not too difficult where if someone's coming along and they say, Hey, this looks cool, but I know nothing about any of this stuff they're not completely overwhelmed. How do you guys balance it so that, like you said, it's real, it's immersive, they're not holding your hands, but it's not going to like scare off you know, you know, know, most of the gamers out there? It's a big problem. And don't get me wrong, it's not that we've made it easier to hold your hand. We just spent a really long time working on teaching skills right, and tutorialization. So it's not that the game's easy. It's like a lot of people find it really hard and is really intimidating. But we spent a lot of time trying to get better at teaching these complex skills to people really quickly and really efficiently. So we've come up with um, a lot of interesting approaches to getting people to learn really quickly through some like psychological manipulation and uh, like hints to try and get people in the right mindset to absorb a lot of complex information really quickly in the early stages of the game. And by being able to do that, you can like get people to be able to play this thing and tackle these like kind of complex problems and get them in a headspace where they can actually do this hacking for real because you've taught them really quickly. And that sort of sounds intimidating and scary and stuff, but it's not as bad as it probably sounds here. It's just we've put a lot of effort into the tutorial to try and make it so that people can do this. So it's not that we've made the game easier, but we've just taught them better. And what's cool is when you're going through it, so you have the story, you know, the the main character in here built the the security system that's like protecting mm. all this stuff and then he he's dead and now it, the information went to you who are, who are now has to go through. And when you're hacking, you have to be like a real hacker. You have to cover your tracks, you know, you're in here, but it's also revealing a story as you go forward, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, and that'll get revealed more with like, the game itself, but I think the more interesting stories, at least from my end, are the ones that players are going to end up making themselves. There's a huge amount of secrets and stuff in the game. There's a lot of depth to it. Every character, every name, every person, some of which really exist, some don't, uh, all can be traced all the way back to their like, full depths, right? They all have academic histories. They all have like car registrations. They all have medical records. And you can look through those and find anyone in there and like, see what they're all about. And those stories and finding those sort of secrets, and especially the secret bits which require you to look into more of that, the piece and bits together, are my favorite stories from the game. But the main ones got a lot to it as well, and we still haven't revealed too much about that yet. But yeah, the basis of it is that it's been killed, and he doesn't like what 
he's contributed to. And a lot of the game starts asking questions about what that really is and what Hacknet as a program and like not a game really is. And like that's the sort of direction it will go. But we will talk more about that soon. Okay, so in the trailer that we're about to see, uh, can you set us up of what we're actually going to be seeing? Sure. So the trailer is meant to give an overview to what the game's all about, a bit about the origins of where Hacknet's come from, uh, like who Bit is and what you're going to be doing in it. And the big emphasis I wanted to put on the trailer was that it's complex and a lot of this is for real and you're going to have to learn it, but that's taken care of for you. Right, like show you what the game's big principles are, that hacking is awesome, it'll teach you to be a hacker, you're going to feel like a hacker, and you can actually do this, because the real magic of the game is getting you there. So the trailer is like, that's the main goals we wanted to like get to with the trailer, and make you like feel like that, like look at how cool hacking is, and you can do it, because we have like made this system that teaches you how. Yeah, and it has a cool soundtrack. I mean, you got cover <laughs> from Hotline Miami too in there. Uh, he didn't actually do the track from the soundtrack. What his friends did. Oh. Uh, okay. his Remy, he's uh, in a band called The Algorithm, and they are awesome. And he's done a couple of songs for the game. But uh, that version is actually like an unfinished one of a track that's actually ending up in the game. So the full one is better, believe me. Oh, awesome! All right. Yeah, so. it's pretty good. All right, the game is Hacknet, and it's coming out August 15th, is that correct? August 12th, I think, but uh, it depends on where you are in the world. Okay. But 12th is the, the big release date. All right, cool. So keep an eye out for that, and we'll have the links on our website so you guys can check that out. And, hey, thanks for coming on, Matt, uh, and telling us about the game. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. All right, guys, let's check out the trailer.